What if I told you that the next trillion dollar company is already here? What if I told you that it could be worth not just 1 trillion, not even 10 trillion, but potentially 50 trillion in the next decade? Sounds impossible, right? Well, stick around because today we're diving deep into a story that could redefine the very nature of investing as we know it. But let me introduce my four-legged financial analyst, Winston, to you first, who does all the hard thinking around here. And he's been sniffing out some incredible opportunities of late, and he's got onto something very, very big here. He's also up 50% already on his teaching portfolio this year, over 100% in the last two years. And if you want to learn how we do that, we're literally running today and tomorrow Part day two and three of our three-day free masterclass. And it's still time to join. You can still sign up for free at FelixFriends.org slash masterclass down below. But let's get back to our main story here. We're talking about a company that's already revolutionizing the tech industry. And it's just getting started. And of course, I'm talking about the green giant NVIDIA. Now, I know what you're thinking. NVIDIA, the graphics, the GPU. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said, okay. But we know they're at the forefront of AI. And it, we know the potential is staggering. And everyone's saying it could be a $1,000 stock or something. But let's hear from one of the most successful technology investors of our time. James Anderson. A name that might not be familiar to all of you, but trust me, this chap knows his stuff. He is the chap who made early bets on little companies you might have just heard of. Tesla, Amazon, anyone heard of those? Anderson just made a statement, which the Financial Times just covered today, that sent shockwaves through the investing. He said, and I quote, NVIDIA's potential size is much higher than anything I've ever seen before in the most optimistic case and could lead to a market cap in the tens of trillions. Let that sink in for a moment. Tens of trillions. We're talking about a potential valuation that is more than the entire S&P 500 combined. It's a number so large it's hard to wrap your head around. But before we dive into the how and the why, let's take a step back and look at who James Anderson is and why his opinion carries so much weight. Anderson spent nearly four decades at Bailey Gifford, an investment management firm based in Edinburgh, Scotland. Now, Edinburgh might be known for its castle and festival and lovely people, but in the investment world, it's known for Bailey Gifford. This firm, under Anderson's guidance, became an unexpected star in tech investing. The fund is up 1,500% since 2006. Anderson ran the flagship Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, which despite its names has nothing to do with the Scottish with, which despite its name has nothing to do with Scottish real estate. Instead, it's a fund that's known for making bold long-term bets on transformative companies. And guess what? They first bought Nvidia back in 2016. Now here's where it gets really interesting. When Scottish Mortgage took a position in Nvidia, they weren't entirely sure what the main driver would be. Was it gaming, crypto, autonomous driving, or AI? They left it to chance, and boy, did that chance pay off. But here's the kicker, and pay attention because this is crucial. Anderson says the big difference between NVIDIA and some of his other successful bets is that, and I quote, Amazon, Tesla, etc., did not start from highly profitable and dominant positions, but had to get there. NVIDIA, on the other hand, is already starting from a position of strength. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but isn't this just another tech bubble? Aren't we getting ahead of ourselves? Well, let me tell you about a chap named Hendrik Bessenbinder. He's an academic who found that over many decades, only 4% of stocks accounted for the total increase in net assets. The 96 you could ignore. The 4 are all that mattered. And this led Anderson and Bailey Gifford to believe that fund managers should strive to identify companies that are among the biggest winners. And NVIDIA, my friends, has all of the hallmarks of being one of those winners. 
Just look at this chart. Nvidia shares have risen 160 odd percent since the beginning of the year. Its market value has skyrocketed to $3 trillion. That's 20 times what it was worth in August 2018 when Apple became the first company to reach a trillion dollar valuation. But here is where it gets really interesting. Anderson believes that in the most optimistic scenario, Nvidia could be worth $49 trillion in 10 years. That's right, trillion with a T. That's what they should probably write on Biden's little note cards, right? I know that joke's getting a little old. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's impossible, but let's break down Anderson's reasoning. One, real growth and demand for AI chips for data centers of about 60% per year. Two, if this growth continues for the next decade, along with unchanged margins, it could result in earnings of $1,350 per share and free cash flow of about $1,000 per share. Three, assuming a free cash flow yield of 5%, an NVIDIA share could be worth $20,000 in 10 years. But here's the thing. It's not just about the numbers. It's about what NVIDIA represents. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, says the company is at the center of a new industrial revolution. And he might well be right. NVIDIA is the main beneficiary of the boom in demand for chips that can train and run powerful generative AI models like OpenEye's ChatGPT. We're talking about technology that could transform entire industries, from autonomous driving to robotics to drug discovery. Now, I know some of you might be skeptical. You might be thinking, isn't this just another tech bubble? Aren't we getting ahead of ourselves? And, and you're right to be cautious. Anderson himself says that development is likely to be volatile. He wouldn't be surprised if NVIDIA suffered one or more share price declines of 35 to 40 percent. And then he says, and I hope we would buy more in that case. That, my friend, is the mindset of a true long-term investor. It's not about the day-to-day -day fluctuations, it's about the long-term potential. NVIDIA's success is posing challenges for fund managers who don't hold it. And let me walk you through this. Terry Smith, one of the greatest fund managers out there, I've got a lot of my money with him. His global fund, for example, underperformed the benchmark in the first half of the year because he decided to avoid the chip maker. And what does that mean? The more Nvidia goes up, the harder and harder it is going to be for fund managers like Terry Smith to not own it. They did the same with Apple. They were all late to the party and then they bought it, which is why Apple continues to go up. And do you remember when Apple was a $100 billion stock and everyone was saying, it can't go any higher? Nobody thought it was possible it could go to a trillion yet through to three trillion. And the reason for that is very simple. The way we're mostly programmed is to expect something we've seen before and to discount all other outcomes. And that is why there are very, very few people who are the real innovators who really make these big moves because they expect the unexpected. Now, what does it all mean for you, the investor? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Or should I say the trillion dollar question? I think Winston agrees with us here, but in all seriousness, this is where our expertise comes in. Remember that masterclass I mentioned earlier that I'm running like right now? That is exactly the kind of opportunity we're going to be discussing. Like, how do we identify these potential game changes? How do we manage risk how do we position ourselves for long-term success? So just to remind you, grab yourself a free seat to that at felixfriends.org slash masterclass down below. But regardless of whether you join us in the masterclass, here is the key takeaway from today's discussion. Investing is changing rapidly. Companies like NVIDIA are redefining what's possible. And while the potential rewards are enormous, so are the risks. As James Anderson puts it, what matters most to us is the long evolutionary timeline of GPU usage in AI. And not just AI, from excitement to potential pauses to the transformation of entire industries. So as I wrap up, I want you to ask yourself, are you ready for this new era of investing? Are you prepared to identify the next potential trillion dollar companies? And most importantly, are you equipped with the knowledge and the strategies to navigate this exciting but rather volatile landscape? Well, Winston and I are certainly as ready or as ready as we'll ever be. Are you? Thanks for joining us today on this exciting journey into the future. And if you found this video valuable, please don't forget to like, subscribe and abuse the notification bell. And remember, 
for a deep dive into our investment strategies, join us at felixfriends.org slash masterclass. Link is down below. Winston and Felix here. And Winston got an email forward to him yesterday from the most senior trader at Goldman Sachs. And we read it together and we thought, everybody should know this. Everybody should know this information. This stuff gets sent out to institutional investors, to the key brokers, but of course, not to you and me, the damn money retail.